Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to Factorio. This is going to be take two because I messed up the last intro of this episode. You know, whatever. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm down here uh, working on these outposts here and we're getting beeped at because I got to fix something over here. Because I need to add in the logistics stuff. Um, and then I need to continue to work on getting... There's a couple of outposts up here. This guy tied in. That guy's good. That guy's good. So we just need to get this guy tied in and then our uh efforts over here will be done and then uh, i'm gonna start working on getting um robot frames situated so uh let's go ahead and take care of the beeping because that's gonna drive me insane oh no oh no everything's good everything's good uh we got another 60 something tracks to go before I can put down my power poles so that will that will come by so that'll that is something we'll have to take care of soon uh, when we come back man these beeps just like get in my brain and and just you can't focus oh Jesus oh geez okay so what are we be what's freaking out oh you can't look at the map while you're driving I guess I guess that makes sense oh my god oh my god at least I know what the issue is. All right, Akira, thanks for hanging out. It's good seeing you. Okay, there's somebody moving. It's not what we need to do right now. Oh, so fast. Okay. There we go. When you drive on concrete, it's a lot quicker. So I guess we hit our limit. Um, all right, let's go ahead and do. Nope, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do this, and then we'll do this, and then we'll do that, and then we'll say you know all that stuff, and then say anything equals zero. All right, appreciate it, Kira. <laughs> all right, that should be good. That should take care of that situation. This thing is signaled properly, so you. Well, you probably were already on your way here. But yeah. Okay. 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 So are you full? Is that the issue? Yeah, that's that's the issue there. We will get to you very, very soon. I promise. <laughs> so now, um, now that that's taken care of and those beeps should now go away. Should. Not worried about you. Not worried about you. Oh boy. You guys are all now finally breaking up, so not too worried about you guys. You're moving. You're working on moving. You're working on moving. You're just hanging out, which is understandable. You are moving. Dropping stuff off. You're moving. You're moving. You're moving. You're hanging out. You're hanging out. You're moving. Okay. And finally. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully we won't get beeps. Now. <laughs> so strap back down to where we were. Now that we got some power poles getting constructed, we can go ahead and take care of that stuff. All right, that was that was awesome. <laughs> I didn't explode anything. That's all that matters, including my face. Okay, so let's head down to the south to take care of those areas. Work my way up to the north, and then all this should be done. We still, I really still need to get another couple of iron resources figured out, but this should last us for a little bit. Okay, this should all be built out. How many more do you get? You have seven left. Oh, Jesus. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna have to clean you up anyway. This is just a mess. Somebody will eventually come around here. Oh, you know what? I don't have any signaling here either. Or uh, I keep saying signaling. It's not proper. Uh, logistics set up here. Probably should have just called logic. Basically what it is. Anything equals zero. E equals zero. That's what I'm going for. There we go. And then now, uh, that's not necessary. Oh, you know what? It, it puts him in my inventory. That's that's what happened before, and I didn't realize it. Okay, well, that's fun. If that's the case, then screw it. I'm just going to break all this down and go deliver this by hand to myself later on. <laughs> if that's how it's going to be. What about down here? That's oil down here. Circuit network? Okay. Got it. So that's all situated. There's that. That. And that. And I can do the rest by hand. And by can, I mean I have to. <laughs> yeah, I picked up the box when I had stuff. That was kind of strange to me. But, I mean, if, uh, if that's how it works, then that's how it works. But I think what I'm going to do is just pop that, and plop that, and then plop that, and then plop that. And then that should be good. Okay. You have a strong feeling that I will be not streaming on the 4th. What what weekday? Uh, yeah, what day of the week is the 4th? Is it a Wednesday? Is it a Tuesday? I can't remember. It's a week from today, so it'll be a Wednesday. Uh, I will be streaming that day. The question is, will I be streaming early during the day, or I'll be streaming normal time in the evening? I do not know. Yeah, so I, I will be doing Factorio that day. It just may be earlier in the day. I've just, I haven't decided yet. I gotta see what my plans are for that day. Um, but I will be streaming that day. Okay, so that's situated. So we just gotta get the uh, oil looped in here. And we can finally freaking move on to trying to get frames situated. Yeah, thank you guys for reminding me of that. I forgot that 4th of July was next week. It is next week, right? Yeah, because we're getting towards the end of June. Raven equals best mod. Like, Raven is... is What mod is Raven? I've not heard of that. What does it do? No path. No path. Like an airplane. Oh, okay. I, I don't think I'd want to get into airplanes into this game because that, that really kind of changes how things work around here. No path. No path. Why do you have no path? You have no path. That makes no sense. I mean, is it trying to get to one of these guys? No bumbling into trees and long distance travel. Yeah, well, I mean... It also kind of changes the way the core game works. Oh no. Oh no. Why do you say that you cannot get to the thing? That's not cool. I'm going to have to fix that because that's going to drive me freaking insane. Okay, so if we go forward, I send you... Oh, you have literally nothing to go to. Okay, well that's fun. Um, oh no. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> there we go. That works. Hey, you can remote drive? Yeah, that's a part of the uh, the, the fat controller mod. Which is kind of handy. I cheated the game using Factorimissimo. Yeah, okay. I played uh, the Factorimissimo mod. It's an interesting mod, but it also changes 
the core vanilla experience a little bit too much for me. Like I, I use mods, but I try to use things that still kind of retain that that core feel the game has kind of on its own. If that makes any sense. I don't know. Uh, Ateros, thank you for following on Twitch. Welcome, welcome. And apparently, oh, wait, 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 no, 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 hold on. I'm missing some stuff. What's going on here? Oh, we got a lot of people. So sweet moly, normal boy, username, and Ataris. Or what? No, what's going on? These are all mixed up. My, my notification system is all functified right now. Welcome, everybody, who I missed or didn't miss, and uh, I'm just kind of confused. Uh, thank you for subscribing, 8 Epic 8. Welcome, welcome. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Ataros, there we go. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I mean, I think. Welcome, welcome. I think everything is just kind of getting caught up. So it is going to come in here on the south. Well, it's good to see kind of at a glance what's going on with your trains, and that's why I like it. This is going to be oil pickup. Circuit network logic thing. Oil equals zero. Then enable. Okay. Cool. And now we have power to run down here. So that's, that's fantastic. Do that. Wasteful, I know. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a random bunch of people all coming in so i'm thinking the the way things are reading on my screen here like it's saying that username 15903 was 13 hours ago ateros was a day ago eight epic eight was a minute ago two minutes ago normal boy was four hours ago so it's like not in order at all so i don't know what happened though uh, maybe uh tippy stream or something reset their servers or did something weird like that but it's definitely definitely something weird going on there i don't think it was everybody all at once do I play Fortnite? No, I do not. I'm I'm not a big fan of shooters, and I'm absolutely not a fan of battle royale games. Like every game is a battle battle royale game nowadays, and it's just it's it's been done multiple times, and I'm just not a big fan of shooters anyway. So it's like I'm just not interested. <laughs> the only shooter I'm really into is like uh, uh, Beyond, no, excuse me, uh, Borderlands. I'm waiting for three to come out. That will be fun. I think I did break the space-time continuum. I think that's exactly what happened. Okay, so I think I think we're good. I think we're good. So let's go deal with oil so we can start working on getting our frames going. And start working on figuring out how to get more iron into the base. Are you are you still just you're just hanging out this this thing's done so what about you you are done and you we already cleaned up so let's get rid of that let's get rid of that uh, you are you got nowhere to go there we go no hey 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 what you doing Corey uh, uh, okay there you go that was weird that was really weird You know, getting evil too. Yeah, that's that's gonna be fantastic. That's not gonna be shooter though. I don't think. Which is the first one definitely wasn't a shooter. It was all uh, like melee, like hand to hand, which is kind of cool. It was puzzle based. It was not a shooter in any way. I mean, if they add guns to Beyond Good and Evil Two, it's gonna make me kind of sad. But if they do, they do. Hopefully, the game itself will still be good. But I'm kind of hoping they don't. Use a pulsar phase, tachyon beam, tape, Star Trek universe. All right, that sounds good. Uh, I'll, I'll just take your word on it. <laughs> I 
I watched the next generation growing up and stuff, but like I never really got to like watch the entire thing. I should get I should go back in Netflix and watch all all those. I think I'd enjoy it. Oh, I made it. Yeah. <laughs> totally made it. Okay, let's get working on our oil here and fixing the thing that I messed up. Are we out of... We are out of those repair kit things. Well, damn. Let's do like 200. There we go. Okay, so uh, the next thing we need to do is look and see... Okay, we need batteries. Know that. Batteries require iron, copper, and sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is the next thing we gotta do, which is gonna require iron, sulfur, and water. And this is why we had iron coming in in the first place. Playing multiplayer world and pranking the other members. Playing multiplayer world of what? Factorio? Okay, that's not going as quickly as I'd prefer. So you're griefing? Is that what you're doing? Because that's not fun. Um, let's see if that'll work for now. And then we're also going to need... Oh, crap. We're going to need a uh, thing of copper coming in here, too. So I'm thinking maybe... Maybe, maybe. It'd be funky here. No, no, no. Other way. Other way. Why are you going that way? Because I clicked it wrong, I think. There we go. You're speaking in Spanish. You're not making... Oh, you're speaking in Spanish on, on, on their server. Okay. Okay. So, so you're trolling. Okay. That's fine. Whatever floats your boat, bud. Alright, so let's go ahead and put down another one of these guys, and another one of these guys. There we go. Connect with red wire. Am I out? No, there it is. Alright. This is going to be copper plate drop-off. Toot, toot, anything equals zero. And then that will be good. All right, all right, all right. So right now I'm only doing two on the outputs right now, just to see if that's all we need. Um, and now that I'm thinking about this, I'm probably gonna wanna do a buffer on these. And I don't know, I need to turn that around. But we'll get it figured out. I kind of want to move that down too as my voice pops. That was, that was awesome. There we go. See if that works. Should. Okay, cool. So we have that going on. And let's go ahead and run some power over. I think I'm just going to do this. Connect. Damn it. All right. That's fine. There we go. So we have that going on. So, uh, I know we have another copper train sitting around here somewhere. I had it paused. Um, I don't need to drive down. I have this. So, coal, coal, iron, copper plate drop off. That's moving. Everything's, I think it's this one. That is for drop off for ore. All right. So we probably need to start looking at getting some copper ore in soon, too. 
Um, I mean, we have this one up here situated. Nothing is currently. What are you doing? Why is no pickup available? Copper plate pickup. Oh, or pickup versus plate pickup. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so that's why I'm getting confused. This is the internal. Can I pick that up? No, I cannot. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, that's fine. So we need another train. So that's doing that thing. It's thing. This is going for pickup. So yeah, I think I just need another train on this this loop here. Let's do that. It's gonna be copper. Oh goodness! Let's get rid of that. Move this. This is going to be copper. Fleet supply. Go do your thing, buddy. All right. So there's that. You are. Should be automatic. You got nowhere to go. I got it. Yeah. Okay. You got no path. I got you. I got you. Okay. When it starts beeping at me again, I'll have to turn that one back on. But for now, it's fine, I think. Okay. So. We need, in order to make sulfuric acid, we're going to need a bunch of tanks, a few tanks, and it's going to require chemical plants, which I thought I had a bunch of. There we go. I'm going to start with four, maybe. And if anybody wants to suggest some ratios here, I'd, I'm all ears. We had some water coming up as well, so maybe I'll continue bringing water out via pumps. Let's do that. And then do some undergrounds. I'm just waiting for your system to deadlock from too many trains. Yeah, probably. But the idea is to hopefully get two bots before then and then work on efficiency after that. It's only deadlocking now because there's uh, I'm not supplying enough iron ore into or iron plates into the system. And there's trains that are looking for places to go, but there's nowhere to go because there's nothing supplying. All right. So um, I think what I'm going to do is probably do something like this. And then we'll have a couple of lines coming in like this. Nice. Nope. One more. There we go. Let's do that. And that'll be fine. Okay, and then uh, we'll do some inserters, three and four, and then we'll do some long inserters, one, two, three, and four. All right, and then provide some power. I guess I could have just connected like that. That should be fun. Okay, how are we doing? You are doing pickup. You should be good. So come to drop off. Guess I should watch that one. A fox and a baby fox just wandered through your backyard. Oh man, that'd be nice to see. So you should be coming here and you are awesome. Cool. You picked up a decent amount, so that's pretty spiffy. And you just need... Oh, wait. I did something wrong. Why did I think I needed copper? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I done did something wrong. 
Why did I think I need copper? I think I needed it because of batteries. But we needed to make sulfuric acid first is what it was. Okay. That's... <laughs> That's awesome, man. I done did a derp. Derp to derp to do. Okay. Let's just go ahead. Give myself some space here. Wow, that was that was some sort of special right there. I got the smooth. So I guess what I'm gonna do is probably something like that, like that. It's not pretty, but it'll work. And I have plenty there, so I'm gonna go ahead and just limit that to like. I don't think I'll ever need that on hand. Oh, I also need to put power here. There we go. See how quickly this gets consumed. There's five sulfur. So we're going to need to put fast inserters there. Which means if we're going to be producing that much sulfuric acid, uh, I'm going to need to have a lot more sulfur being produced. Should be fine. Four to five. Some great perfect ratios right there. <laughs> being sarcastic, of course. But. Okay. So, um, everybody's getting some stuff, which is awesome. So let's go and look at this. Uh, I may want to make a couple more of these. Let's look at the numbers here, though. So in order to make one of these, it takes one second, requires 30 petroleum gas and 30 water. So every second we can make two sulfur. These things are taking five every second. Oh my gosh. So five, 10, 15, 20, 20 every second. So that'd be what, 10? Can you make 10 of these? Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. And then, uh, yeah, that's 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 kind of funky, but it's gonna be fun trying to keep up with it. <laughs> Sorry, though. If anything, this game will teach you patience and concentration. There we go. And then let's go ahead and grab some pipes. Hopefully the pressure in the pipes will be enough to push all this stuff down through here. We'll find out. I feel like I should do something where I bounce it off instead of just using the one side of the belt, but I guess I'll figure it out. I guess I could have put those power poles higher up. Yeah, that's the thing that should have happened. Let's do that. Good. Why is that? Oh, there's already one there. Okay. Did I already put those down? I did put those down. Okay. <laughs> good job. Good job. Yeah, I'm going to have to balance those up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, so five. One, two, three, four, five.
that don't have to work. I'm sure there's a more elegant way to do that, but this will work for now. All right, so let's see how our production is doing down here. Why are you not placing down? Oh, because you never got a sign. Good job. Oh, and we got some stone going here. Man, still feeling the effects of that, that mess up a while back. All right, let's look at our values. Looking good. Looking good. Actually looking pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. How about our oil? Oil's looking good. It's because uh, we haven't really been using it. That's kind of why. <laughs> there all right so I think that's a good it's a good start where we got a good amount of sulfuric acid going so I think that's actually gonna be a good place to stop so next episode we will continue working on building this area out getting some batteries situated uh, yeah batteries next and then um, Going from there, working our way over to getting some bot frames situated. Wherever those things are, because I always forget. And electric engine units are the next thing. It's going to require lubricant, which is heavy oil, which is all down here and available to us. So we're getting there. We'll have some bots soon. We didn't get to it tonight, which, you know, it's a bummer. I just now realized that the thing moved on me, so I've had this gap here for God knows how long. <laughs> but uh guys i hope you're enjoying this playthrough of factorio if you're new here hit the subscribe button if you like what i do hit the like button if you want to help my channel grow guys share my videos share my live streams leave likes leave comments all that good stuff because the more you guys participate the bigger we grow definitely want to do that so definitely appreciate all the support you guys give me every single day thank you guys so much you guys rock and just heads up we got a giveaway going on so make sure you check the link in the description for more information also i'm working on uh, a project with tj mines uh he's an author and he's written dubois and I just kicked my camera. Good job. Uh, <laughs> we got a Kickstarter going on. Uh, we're trying to, to, to create a uh, an audiobook for for uh, Dubois. And I think it's going to be interesting. If you want to help get that off the ground, there's a Kickstarter link down in the description below. Make sure you check that as, out as well. So, uh, guys, I appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Factorio. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.